tres. And let's say hi again to all of our viewers out there in YouTube land around the globe. Stu Jones here with the Florida Powerboat Club and happy to have you back here on our channel with feature coverage of that signature Florida Powerboat Club Key West Offshore Poker Run. It's the 28th edition of this festive offshore extravaganza, which we almost lost due to the COVID pandemic. Uh, but we've got the wheels turning with the Florida Powerboat Club. We were shut down for six months and got back on the waterways in August with the Emerald Coast Poker Run. We followed that with a small fall Key West escape. And then the Tampa Bay Poker Run, we did that one in September. And here we are now in November for this annual pilgrimage from Miami through the Florida Keys to Key West. So before we get started, let's thank our sponsors. Let's begin with our 2020 series sponsors, including Deep Impact Custom Boats, their sister company, Blackwater Boats, and their exclusive worldwide dealer, Plantation Boat Mart. Together, these three companies offered the grand prize sponsorship, a $25,000 prize to the top winner of the poker run. And continuing our 2020 series sponsors, Mercury Racing, Wide Open, Mystic Power Boats, Myco Trailers, Nortec High Performance Boats, Performance Boat Center, and Superior Communications, our second prize sponsor. In addition to those series sponsors, we'd like to thank these feature sponsors as seen here on our Key West 2020 masthead, including our marina partners, Hallover Marine Center, Grove Harbor Marina, as well as Black Thunder Power Boats, Good Boy Vodka, Marine Concept Motorsports, Conk Republic Seafood Company, and Concept Boats. A little windy, but a very spirited morning here at Hallover Marine Center in North Miami on a Wednesday morning as we get ready with the Florida Powerboat Club on the 28th annual Key West Offshore Poker Run, day one of our five day adventure. And it will be an adventure today. Why? Well, because we have got the outer bands of Hurricane Ada still spinning around out there in the Gulf, creating some really miserable weather. But it's not raining right now. It's extremely windy. We're not going to go in the ocean. We are going to take those protected waters all the way from Hallover on the inside through Miami, down through Coconut Grove, Biscayne Bay, all the way to Key Largo for lunch at Gilbert's. And some of us are going to continue through the Upper Keys all the way to Marathon. It's all part of the master plan to stay on the inside waters today and enjoy at least a day of boating because we want to get to Key West. Sounds like some of these guys are ready. It's five minutes till we shove off here from Hallover. So enjoy this adventure with members of the Florida Powerboat Club as we head for Key West for our 28th year in a row. Well, you can see here at Hallover Marine Center with the sun very low in the sky still. Remember, we're in late November, the days are short and it really translates to being on top of the logistics for the day. We've got to have the boats in the water the night before, if at all possible. Some of them are being launched this morning. As you can see, some teams getting their props put on and getting last minute preparations done before they go into the water at Hallover Marine Center. And of course, these guys have got their program together. They've done it many, many times before. So it doesn't matter whether you've got a 39 cigarette that just rolled in from Orlando, Todd Amandis and his team mounting those beautiful Mercury Racing cleavers on those M6 drives. And this is kind of a standard routine at Hallover Marine Center every morning before any poker run. But it seems to have a very nice, easy, casual vibe this morning, and that's because of the weather. We would have had well over 60 boats running today, but because of the conditions and that uh, recent storm, Ada, that's ETA, remember? Uh, she rolled in through the Florida Keys, and that storm system is still lingering uh, right now in the Gulf of Mexico right off the Florida Keys. So it's really changed the weather outlook today. So a lot of the power boats are going to remain uh, on these storage racks at Hall of Our Marine Center. Some of them are going to just stay on the trailer or tied up here at the dock. But these guys are saying, come on, Stu, we're ready to go. We don't care about the wind. We don't care that it's a little bit overcast. Uh, Robert Lockyer wants to run his Mystic, and of course, Captain Joe here, Balistrieri, in our safety boat. He's like, come on, Stu, let's get going. i got to go pick up the medics, and we're out here. We're here to support this event, and that's what we're going to do. And it's important that we, that we really got this Wednesday program going, because think about it, guys. On Thursday, you know, with a total of 160 boats registered, remember now, if we only take 40 boats today or less, that means we're going to have about 125 boats 
on Thursday. And that's going to really create some challenges at some of our poker run venues, especially right here at Hallover Marine Center, where everyone's going to want to get in the water at one time. Uh, we got the entire FPC staff, Jackie, uh, my wife, and two sons, uh, Tyler and Max, going to join us and help out on this run. Devin Wozencraft just rolled into the harbor. I know he's anxious to run today, too, to get to Gilbert's and hand out some of his swag to promote Wozencraft insurance. Well, we got our camera wandering around the docks. Let's just listen in and see how our crews are doing as they prepare for this big day ahead. And I know how much you guys are waiting to see bikinis, but not today because it's kind of cold and windy. Uh, that's Brianna on the left and Romana on the right, our FPC girls. Their job to wander around and hand out the poker cards, which we would traditionally do right from the docks. And, of course, the girls would be in their bikinis and we'd have that long pole. But we really don't have the time today because we have a big day ahead of us and a lot of weather conditions that are going to really challenge us, not to mention the wind, which would put some stress on the boaters as they pull up to the dock. We don't want to have any fender benders, uh, dock crashing incidents here today. So we've waved off all of the poker card segments, not only here at Hallover Marine Center, but also at our next checkpoint, which would have been Grove Harbor Marina. And I think it was wise to do that because when it's windy like this, it really does make it hard to pull up to the dock safely, get that card and keep on going. And of course, those last minute touches, uh, getting the boat decals onto the boat and that number decal is individual to every boat helps the helicopter identify who you are and those little side decals which determine what speed class you're in and of course it's safety first for all of the speed classes we request that all of our teams wear these life jackets at all times and i think it's just part of the safety common sense rule you know we're going fast we're in a group setting and it is clearly one of the top guidelines that we like to maintain here with our safety management program Nice to see Andrew and Danielle Rocco here in the brand new 34 Victory Cat. They just took delivery of the boat the day before, literally Tuesday. Uh, it's a new 34 with Mercury Racing 450s. One of many boats that Rocco has owned over the years. I took a glance at his video bio and what's his favorite thing about power boating? Spending quality time with friends and family and squeezing the life out of every minute. That certainly sounds like the Andrew Rocco that I know. And here now is a very spirited poker run team, Jason Tolliver, uh, along with his first mate, Krisha, on board this 40-foot sensation, Triple Mercury Racing 450Rs. It's about his maybe third, fourth, I gotta say fifth sensation. I've lost track. They're here to represent Performance Boat Center. And a very special welcome back to Don and Donald Haddon from South Carolina. They're in a 30-foot AMT Cat, which is a very sharp contrast to their other boat, which is a 32-foot Belzona Center Console. Let's welcome back Andy Imha from Maryland and this 43-foot Black Thunder. It's been completely redone. And a special note that, you know, we haven't seen Black Thunders on this run for a long time. We've got three altogether, including the new Factory 46. This is a good place to be if you really want to catch this uh, eclectic mix of boats. 
on this run all the time. You're going to get such a wide variety from this Good Boy Vodka 48-foot MTI uh, to a variety of center consoles, performance V-bottoms, really everything that you can imagine. And that's why we have three different speed classes because we have boats that are comfortable cruising at 50 or 60 miles per hour and boats like Chris Manningly's uh, 46 Outer Limits, which is quite comfy at about 100 all day long. And some of these big offshore catamarans that cruise at 120, 125. So that's why we have these three classes. But today we're going to run them all together as we depart here from North Miami. We're not going to be going in the ocean. Uh, so we won't be really setting up uh, any different departures at this point. My priority today as an organizer is to get everybody out on the water as quickly as possible and to keep the pack moving from North Miami down to Biscayne Bay where they can get on the throttles and start running so we can reach our destination in the light of day. Riding on board today with Chris Villars and his Nortec 390 center console. Got triple Mercury Racing 450s. Chris has been doing a lot of poker runs this year since he took delivery of the boat. He lives up in Pensacola, Florida, but he's originally from the Miami area. He's a hardcore Florida Gator fan, and you're going to see that flag on the boat at all times, which is why he's already been through a few of them. Our video producer, Ryan McCoy, riding on board today with Chris and his lady, Kenzie, uh, Chris's brother, John, as well as another couple, Krista and Tim. Take note, guys, because this crew really has it together. Captain Chris never has to leave the helm. And, of course, we never let our guard down on safety, uh, the crew getting their life jackets on. And for those of you who think that center consoles are a little different and they're safer than high-performance boats, well, that's not true at all. Center consoles are fast, and you can fall out of one of these boats just as easily as you can any other boat. It's important to have them on and make safety a top priority at all times. And I know how much you guys love those helicopter aerial shots that we provide on these shows, but it's also nice to be on board and really get the feeling of what it's like to be on a poker run boat that's on a big event. So we hope that you really get that experience today riding along with Chris and his crew on Real Gust, this 39 Nortec. Of course, we all know that Nortec High Performance is a big sponsor of this Key West poker run and that 390 Sports Center console, the most popular model in Nortec's 30 year history. And looking off to the port side, that's the last time these guys are going to see Hallover Inlet for about four or five days, uh, staying far away from it because it's going to be really rough in the ocean right now. And it should be right about this time that we rendezvous with our aerial support team. Uh, here they are taking off from Pompano Beach, Florida. And for those of you who ask why from so far, well, Pompano Beach is the headquarters for Florida Coast to Coast Helicopters, uh, the company that we have flown with for probably 10 or 12 years now. Uh, they provide us with great service, excellent rates, and really very loyal to uh, our organization. And it's actually part of our workflow uh, planning for the photo and video team because both Jerry and Joe, who are flying in the chopper today, live up near Pompano. And the idea is they can return home and immediately start working in their studios and producing the content that they shoot on Wednesday, uh, getting ready again for Thursday. So the idea is all about the workflow and the logistics management. As they arrive here at Holliver Marine Center, not much going on, guys. Maybe three, four boats left here in the marina. That's because everyone had giddy up about 10 minutes earlier. And the idea, again, being get on the water, get on the throttles, and start heading for the Keys. And a very special introduction now to Matt Carlson, Team Risky Behavior, 30-foot Spectre Cat, uh, pair of Mercury 300XS outboards. And I got to say, big shout out to Matt. He hauled the boat all the way from New Jersey. Uh, trailered it down just a few days before the run and it was his second time on the Key West run He actually attended on a friend's boat in 2019 But he got bit by the bug and said you know what got to do it in my own boat this year And here he is got the FPC crew on board getting that cockpit close up uh, And I'd like to point out guys that you take a guy like Matt here with a 2004 30 foot Spectre proving that you don't have to have a 40 foot cat with 2,000 horsepower to come out and play with the Florida Powerboat Club And for you camera geeks out there that are trying to figure out how did we get this shot, no, it's not from another helicopter, and no, there's not a bracket mounted there. 
That's Joe with his new GoPro 360 Max. It's mounted on a pole, but we're going to get that thing mounted on the tail section of the helicopter soon and come up with some really incredible stuff. And back on board with uh, Real Gus on the 39 Nortec running alongside Rocco on the 34 Victory Cat. Uh, just passing through the 79th Street Bridge now, so we're about halfway from North Miami to downtown Miami. Of course, it's going to take a little longer than it would if we had have gone offshore, but a little bit too bumpy out there. Not worth breaking the boat or getting mama upset. So I know that some of you are asking, so just how far do you have to idle through these sections? Well, it's really not that bad. It's important that you idle through the bridges. That's pretty much standard down here on the Intracoastal Waterway. But in between the bridges, you can pretty much giddy up and get going again. And with those Mercury Racing 700s, what a monster rooster tail coming out of Chris Colson's Levy. And who'd have thought we'd get some really cool video angles here just cruising through these intracoastal waters on a cloudy day. Four crammers rolling as we catch up with Chris Villar. Uh, one on the tail section of the helicopter, a handheld 360 Max, a GoPro, a Panasonic 4K on Joe's shoulder in the chopper, and of course, Ryan using his Sony digital camera on board. Four cameras, guys, to give you this exciting segment as Rocco in the 34 Victory and Chris Villar in his 390 Sport run side by side. Let's talk about this new boat for Rocco and Danielle. The first time we've seen this 34-foot victory. Uh, a new boat on the cat scene, Paramercury Racing 450RC took delivery from fastboats.com. Rocco's last catamaran was a big 52 skater, so this boat is a definite downsize and probably a lot less headaches. And a little blast from the past as you look to the right, see Sea Isle Marina. Those of you who have done poker runs with us for more than a decade would recall that we used that as our kickoff facility for a lot of these poker runs going to the Florida Keys. And looking back now, the camera vantage point is from the Venetian Causeway. Uh, and as we pick up these boats, looks like Robert and Chrissy Lockyer in their Mystic 40 Cat uh, putting along here. Just taking it easy on the ICW because they're getting into an idle speed zone. Our guest videographer for this segment is Zolt from the YouTube channel Boats vs. Waves. And he's got the camera perched up here as our members uh, pass underneath the bridge. Sam Gabriel now attending his first poker run with the club in Team Raging Bull, that 48 MTI that we all know so well. Devin Wozencraft is running his 30-foot skater outboard boat, Twin Mercury 300 XS Motors, and a boat that has traveled across the country many times because Devin is from California, and he's been known to attend poker runs from coast to coast. So let me just talk a little bit about this new guest videographer segment that we have. Uh, you know, we've had many guys that uh, have YouTube channels where they like to shoot uh, all the boats going out all over inlet. Of course, we started off with uh, Ked from ZipSap years ago. In my opinion, he's one of the pioneers who started this whole thing, you know, finding a perch on a bridge or at an inlet and videotaping the Florida Powerboat Club. Uh, but now a lot of guys are jumping on the bandwagon and many of them are very helpful and uh, kind of being a part of our family by finding a nice position on a bridge someplace because remember it was rough and we did not want to go through that haul over inlet uh, so this was an alternative location it's not quite as exciting as bouncing through these big waves at haul over but you know it certainly is a good vantage point for us as we get a close look uh, at all of our teams uh, right down in the cockpit this is about as close and personal as you're going to get on a poker run 
uh, because, of course, we're not at high speed, so it's certainly there's no safety issues here. But uh, Chris and Shelby Mattingly came a long way to join us here, and they're 46 foot out of limits. But I like it because it really shows these spirited teams up close, and they're just kind of kicking back and getting ready for a big, long 170 mile ride down to the Florida Keys. And here they are in Miami, just kind of weaving their way to get out of the downtown section and head out into the open waters of Biscayne Bay. Now I got a chance to ride on the first leg with John Wittenberger Sr. And I think I was trying to figure out how to use my new ICOM radio here. <laughs> it's like, I forgot to bring the instructions. Uh, of course, John Wittenberger Jr. and his 30 foot Spectre. And I would like to say that this is yet another team that illustrates you don't have to have a half a million dollar you know, 48 foot cat to come enjoy these runs. Remember that the entire course from Miami down to Key West can be taken on the backwaters or the protected waters without ever having to go in the open ocean. And that's really what makes this such a great trip. And no matter what size boat you bring and whether it's a cat or a V bottom or whether it's 28 feet or 58 feet, you know, there really is a class for everybody. So whether you wish to run at about 50 mile an hour cruise or a 75 mile an hour cruise like this 39 foot Top Gun, or even to run triple digit speeds most of the time, like some of the big cats and the big power V bottoms, there is a class for everybody. And this intracoastal route uh, provides the peace of mind that you need to you know, realize you really don't have to go in the coastal waters to get to Key West. And it looks like we're making our way down into this uh, downtown Miami corridor, uh, right in the front of Brickle Key. That's off to the right as we catch up with Sam Gabriel. Now, remember, guys, um, you know, we're going to let Sam slide on this one, but <laughs> this is an idle speed zone. Um, we, uh, we somehow got away with it, but you're not going to get away with this very often. We're right in downtown Miami here. This is all idle speed zone. Um, no biggie. Uh, no harm, no foul. <laughs> But uh, just be careful, guys. This, uh, we got lucky today. A lot of us were in a hurry, and I think the, whoever was out there that day patrolling said, ah, oh, what the hell, just let them go. I think that was our one get-out-of-jail-free card because on the Miami Boat Show poker run, uh, we had a handful of boats going through here fast, and I did get a phone call from the U.S. Coast Guard. So believe me, they are watching us, and we do have to uh, pay attention to the signs and be mindful of these uh, safe waterways here, especially right down in the downtown Miami area. And a little bit of time now again with Chris and Lindsey Miller all the way from Oklahoma, which I think is pretty incredible. And their 30 foot Spectre team ever enough. And I do believe that this boat has been in the club since day one. Uh, it's uh, probably a 20 year old boat. Uh, I remember a boat just like this. It had a stern drive pair of 500s in it. And that's what they say is in this one. And I've had a number of club members who have had these 30 Spectres and they're a fast little ride, and as long as you can keep your hands on the wheel, and I'm sure it's a very white-knuckled ride for them, but they're getting ready for a big 170-mile trek to Key West, and I hope they have fun. And it looks like Mike DeWitt came off playing just in time. You can see there's a lot of uh, traffic in the area. We're right near the entrance to the Miami River, uh, so there's a lot of traffic going through here. Uh, you can see this big yacht is being towed, uh, and there's also a lot of big freighters that come in and out of here in barges. So important to just take it easy and kind of cruise through here safely before you get back on plane on that last little stretch before the Rickenbacker Causeway. So let's get back to our live uh, on boat camera on board with Chris Villar and his 39 foot Nortec uh, Team Real Gus triple Mercury Racing 450Rs and a pretty festive and a spirited crew on board and a good team from what I can see in all the videos but a good team to have on board because they're always uh, grabbing the lines and grabbing the fenders and doing the right thing and letting the captain do his job and that's drive this Nortec. You can see there in the water it's a little bit bumpy today. Uh, seeing these little white caps in the bay waters does indicate how strong the winds really are and that is certainly going to play out in Biscayne Bay as we head further south and get into the open waters of Biscayne Bay. But like I said earlier, nobody's going offshore today. Nobody's going in the ocean. I know it's going to be windy, and I know it's going to be a little bit bumpy for some of our teams, but uh, it certainly beats going out in the ocean, and I think we're just going to have to manage our speed and 
Captains are just going to really have to pay attention to their crew and make sure everyone's having a fun ride and that they're all comfortable. And uh, got the tunes cranked up here on Real Gus as we look up and see yet another video team up on the bridge. And that's going to be Zip Zap. Uh, Ked likes to get his perch here. Got the camera on the sticks. And he's going to be picking up a lot of the teams as they pass through the Rickenbacker Causeway. So we'll get a lot more of those cockpit close-ups of our teams as they pass through at slow speed. But that's about it. You know, after that, we're on the throttles and heading down through Biscayne Bay. And that's when it's going to be a lot more challenging for our aerial team to get really close to the boats. But let's face it, uh, that is the right time to get these high-speed shots and video that you guys are very much looking for. And that's what's going to make the magazine exciting and the website pages. And, of course, you guys all get a chance uh, to pick out your photos after the event is over and uh, splash them all over your social media pages and show all your friends how much fun you had. Looks like we got another team uh, jumping into the mix there in the background. Uh, that's Rocco in the foreground. We've seen a lot of that team already, but Brian Tessier in that 30-foot cigarette. He's all the way from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and uh, his first Key West run. And speaking of social media, here's Michael Tandoy from New York. He spent a lot of time getting ready for the Key West poker run with this new 40-foot skater team out of control. And of course, as always, a lot of cigarettes on this Key West poker run. Todd Amandis among them. His first event with Florida Powerboat Club in this 39 Top Gun. And very happy to see Al and Christy Newell back on the scene. Uh, they've been with the club now for well over two decades. I remember them doing this event back, oh God, in the late 90s in a scarab, I think it was at the time. Now they're enjoying this 38-foot Donzi center console. Because you're back. And the boat that has become wildly popular uh, with poker runners all over the country, the Sunsation 40 CCX. Jason Tolliver, his first mate, Krisha, and all of his friends from Ohio getting ready for a great ride to Key West. And we're going to get in some high speed running now as we catch up to member Frank Lovato from New Jersey. Uh, he's enjoying this 42X new cigarette for him. No excuses. It's got Mercury Racing 1350s, which is a lot of power for this 42-foot V-bottom. And why is he heading back to Miami? Well, actually, because he's smart. He paid attention in our instructions when we said, now the helicopter was waiting for some boats to come out of Grove Harbor. And while he was there, he thought, well, why don't I just screw around here and get some good pictures? So that's exactly what he did. And he's going to get himself a lot of helicopter time right now having fun with his 42. He's going to turn the boat here, take a nice, big, wide, sweeping turn, and then he's going to get on it. And let me tell you, this is a fast 42. These 1350s will push this boat well over 120 miles per hour. He's not going to get those kind of speeds today in this chop, but he is going to get this thing pushing triple-digit speeds, and these guys are having a wild ride. And from what I'm seeing up here, it looks like this is kind of the unofficial start. Remember that because of the sea conditions and the weather that we were dealing with today, we did not do a poker card at Grove Harbor. The helicopter just kind of hung around and waited for some of the boats to come out and join us. At some point, somebody decided, well, let's just get on the throttles and start running. And that's exactly what we needed because remember, we've got a long course ahead of us today and we got to get on it and giddy up. So with John Wittenberger on the throttles now, you can see he's doing the best he can to manage this light chop. Remember, this little 30 Spectre is a very light boat and it's gonna get bounced all over the place. It's his job to just keep the boat on a straight line and try to keep his crew comfortable. And I think he's doing a great job at that. Not his first rodeo, but guys, uh, we're getting up to that 30 minute mark and that means we are going to say goodbye at least for the time being. Our first episode here with a series, probably gonna be more than a dozen shows coming to you guys here whoa as we get some nice air uh, featuring the signature key west offshore poker run 2020 the 28th year for the florida powerboat club so guys please stay with us here on the florida powerboat club youtube channel the best thing to do is subscribe 
and click that notification bell so you don't miss the next episode. And that will be episode two with continued coverage of the Wednesday departure group uh, as we head towards Key Largo with our very adventurous Florida Powerboat Club members. We'll arrive at that landmark Gilbert's Resort in Key Largo for a hearty lunch, then continue on through the scenic Florida Keys and cross our fingers that that Hurricane Ada doesn't mess up our ride as we get closer to Key West. Be sure to check out the website at flpowerboat.com for all of the details about upcoming Poker Run events in 2021, as well as membership information. You can follow us on Facebook at Florida Powerboat Club, and you can follow us on Twitter and on these Instagram pages. Thanks to all of our viewers uh, for your wonderful comments on our page, and you guys know who you are, and I really do appreciate that. But if you have questions or comments you want to direct to me specifically, please use my personal email at stu at flpowerboat.com. I check that daily, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. We have got a fantastic year planned for 2021 with members of the Florida Powerboat Club, so stay with us. Meanwhile, we're going to sign off for now. This is Stu Jones along with our producer, Ryan McCoy, in the Pompano Beach studio. Have fun out there, guys. Be safe on the waterways. Wear your life jackets when the time is right, and always respect your fellow boaters. Bye for now.